Hey everyone. Do you want to create realistic images and then turn them into videos? Especially the ones you create with AI. Do you want to transform them into any style you can think of? Today, I'm going to introduce you to a platform I've mentioned before, but it's just received some amazing new updates. We're going to explore all of its new features together, including how you can use it to create videos and turn your images into motion. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how to create less censored, or even uncensored, images. Welcome to the Desire channel. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. As always, I'll start with Google and search for Genjib AI. The first site you see is labeled, AI Image Generator. We'll click on that and wait for the site to open. This is the home page of the site. You can see images that other users have created here. I'll open this image. As you can see, you can like it and share it with friends or family. Below, there are a lot of options for making changes. I gave a general overview in my last video, but today we're going to focus only on the new tools. On the right side, we'll click on the create button and make a few images. One cool feature of this platform is that you can talk to it like a friend. I want to write a prompt here, and I'll use some professional ones, so I'm going to use ChatGPT. I'll search for ChatGPT on Google. We'll enter the first site we see. Once we're in the ChatGPT site, I'll type in a request, give me some viral, realistic portrait prompts. I'll hit generate, and it will give me six prompts. I'll copy the first one and go back to the Genjib site. I'll paste my prompt here. One interesting thing is that it starts creating the image with the smallest change, and it's super fast, generating the image in about three seconds. Our image is done, and it's really beautiful. In terms of creating realistic images, this is one of the best AI tools I've ever worked with. I've used many AI sites, and this one is truly excellent at handling portrait details. You can right-click on the image and save it to your system with the Save Images option. In this section, you can make your prompt and your image even more beautiful and add more detail. You can use this option to choose the image size. I'll select 16 9, which is the desktop size. You can see that the image changes instantly. I'll open these images so you can see the detail up close. Let's download this one, too, to get a closer look. You can see how beautifully the freckles on the girl's face and even her eyes are rendered. Now, I'll use the tool on the right side. In the subject section, we have a lot of different subjects we can use. There are so many that I don't even know which one to choose. You can select and try them one by one and edit them to your liking. Here, I'll choose the glitching television screen subject. You can see that the image changes instantly and creates a beautiful portrait. You can also click on the button on the bottom right of the image to add it to your profile. I'll save it. Now, you can use this option to create images in different styles and moods on the fly. It has four sections. I'll choose Baroque on the top, which gives the image a dramatic effect. By choosing this option, you can see that it instantly starts generating another image. On the right, I'll choose Realism. My hand even slipped and clicked here, and it still created a beautiful portrait. I'll select Realism on the right, and the images it generates will look more photographic and realistic. You can download any image you like at any moment or add it to your profile. To download any of the images, you can right-click on the small thumbnails below and download them one by one. I'll create a bunch of images here for a test, and we'll look at them together. I'll speed up the video a bit so you can see how many images I've created in different styles and perspectives. I'll click between anime and realism. You can see that it creates a truly beautiful image, and it's hard to even tell what style it is. Pay attention to the lighting and effects, they look so realistic and three-dimensional. Even the texture on the face is amazing. As I said, you can make a lot of changes and use them. 
Now, on the right, I'll click on the place section. As you can see, you can place your image in different locations. I'll choose a long shot for the background. It created the image instantly, with a beautiful portrait and a long shot background. I'll try it in different sections to see what it does. I'll open some of the images so you can see them up close and witness the incredible work of this site. I'll go back to ChatGPT. I want to use another prompt. I'll copy it and return to the Genjib site. I'll paste my prompt here. The moment I pasted it, it started creating the image, and it's done. It's truly beautiful. Pay attention to the details, they are so well done. I'll go to ChatGPT again, copy another prompt, and go back to the site. I'll paste it here, and you can see it starts creating my image. It's done now. I had selected a place, so I'll remove it and leave my original prompt. It still created a beautiful image. Now, I'll select the night option to see what it creates. Yes, it made a very good one. The background shows a beautiful image of the moon, which is really lovely. Now, I'll go to the next prompt. I'll copy it and go back to use this one as well. Our goal in creating different photos is to test and see how powerful this tool really is in creating realistic images. It truly captured the image of the boy with the moon behind him beautifully. Now, I'll go to the emoji section. This is an interesting section that sets the facial expression with emojis. I'll choose that smiling emoji to see what it creates. As you can see, just by selecting a smiling emoji, it created a beautiful image for us. Now, I'll go to the style section, where we have a lot of styles available. I'll select, extreme detail, here. Look at the details of the hair, it's showing them beautifully. I'll use the first prompt I used again to see how it creates the image with a lot of detail. Look how beautiful it is. I love it, and I'd love for you to try it too and comment on your experience with the different styles on this site. Again, if you like any of the pictures, you can right-click on the small thumbnail, click Save Image As, and save it to your system. Now, we'll try two features that you can see on the left side. First, we'll try GenOC to see what it does. Here, you can create a specific character for yourself based on your request and descriptions. I'll write my name, and from here, you can choose the character's personality type, hair, body style, and clothing style. I'll select them one by one. You'll see that as you choose, the image changes, and it creates a beautiful image that is unique to you. In the description section, you can also provide details about the character, and it will create it based on your descriptions. Finally, we'll hit the Save button. I've created an image before, and you can see them both next to each other. It has created two interesting characters for me. Now, you can click on the Create Variant option and select your character in different styles. For example, you can change the lighting on their face, the output style, their mood, and whether they are Asian, European, or American. I chose high contrast lighting, and this is the image it gave me. You can see how beautifully it did it. Now, I'll change the mood. You can change these one by one. For example, I'll write driving in the description, and it creates the image instantly, showing them driving. Or, I'll write playing, and it creates a beautiful image of them. You can have a lot of fun experimenting with this tool and creating whatever you want, to your own taste. Now, on the left side, I'll use another new feature, Gen Selfie. I'll click on it, and this page will appear. Here, you can turn your photos into funny, cartoonish, or anime versions. By clicking on this option, you can upload your own image. I'll upload one of my photos here. We have a few options to turn it into a caricature. I'll choose potato face to see what it turns me into. It's so funny. It turned my head into a potato. Now, I'll use the make my feature super distorted option to see what kind of image it creates. I've used it before and it turns me into a caricature. Let's wait for it to be created. 
This is so interesting. It created three caricature images of me. They're nice, and they're funny. Let's see them up close. I'll save them so we can see them. Now, if you click on your profile, you can see the images you've created before. As you clicked, add to profile, under the images, they were added here. For example, I created these fox images that I really liked. We're going to turn a few of these images into videos. After opening the image, all you need to do is click on make video. It takes about 1 to 2 minutes to create the video. Our video is done. It's absolutely amazing. It created a beautiful, cinematic close-up video of the fox. Look at its facial expressions and eyes. You can save it by right-clicking and choosing, save video as or by clicking on the three dots at the top and choosing, download. Now, I want to turn that portrait image we created together into a video. I'll open it. Here, you can turn it into a video. The interesting thing is that you can choose anime, cyberpunk, comic, and normal. I'll choose normal so it just turns my image into a video. We'll wait for it to be created. In this section, you can also see your prompt, which has been professionally written and converted into a professional prompt. It created the video. It's absolutely stunning. The camera movement around the subject is beautifully done. The character's eyes are following the camera, and even the television in the background is playing. I'll save it and go to create another video. I'll use some of the images we created a long time ago in my previous video. As you can see, you can also generate uncensored images. I'll click, make video, and wait for it to be created. The video is done. Look how beautifully it created my video. The subject is moving towards the camera, and it's really interesting. One cool thing here is that you can create a new image with just one click on options like, high quality realism, or others. I've created a new image with just one click. Now I'll click, make video, and choose, normal, to see how this image turns out. It turned this image into a video as well, and it did an amazing job. It created a fashionable and moody image. Friends, if you've stayed with me this far, I hope this has been a very helpful and interesting tool for you. I suggest you watch my other videos, especially this one, where I introduce the Nano Banana tool and show you how to create videos with Hello. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye everyone.